it's a good idea to always start at the sharpest point that you've got so that you, when you come to the end of this thing and you're doing it that you don't have to worry about putting too much pressure on that skinny end and breaking it so this way you've got a little bit of leeway give and take now once you put this back piece down on there tight then it's going to hold that thing right completely safe up tucked up there but first you got this small face and you got to work that out first and get it pushed down before you go to do the top or the or the sides otherwise you'll have too big of a crinkle here that you can't get out of the of the stone Yeah, we could have a, a a little segment on each one of the shows. It's it's called Nick's tricks. There you go. <laughs> and teach and te and tell them one trick that saves a lot of time each time. Why did it do that? That's weird. No, well, that's why it did that. I'm rocking that and you can see what kind of burnisher I'm using and I also use one of these right now but not very much to do small bezels and also to get into tight squeezes it's just a nail right but I smoothed it out and everything squeeze and I can only get in there with this tool.
refresh my memory. Yes, I did put a bevel on it. It's important to have a bevel on the flat part of your stone. Here's a stone, and here's the flat part right here. Right at the corner where it starts to come up like this in that corner, you want to make sure that you have a 45 degree angle cut back on the bottom side of the stone all the way around. That helps you not break your stones when you put them in there because your, your solders, even though your seams are like this, the solder is going to build up a little flap of metal right there that's kind of U-shaped. And that's why you need to do that bevel. So you're going to go see Alan on the way down? Yeah. Good. Tell him to come up here and visit me. Tell him I got all this really cool opal I want to sell it for really cheap. <laughs> don't, don't tell him that. Then he won't come. <laughs> oh, good catch. get into tight places like that I revert to using dental tools it's a pallet one and and just pushing down putting pressure on your pieces and using it just like a paddle burnisher sort of it's quite a, quite a, oops, quite efficient unless you break your piece by dropping it on the no, floor really. <laughs> I think it's a rock. Yep. Right. Now the tough one. First, dun, 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 dun. first we have to cut a seat. It's called a